IELTS mandatory for second applicant before EOI is uh, filed. It does ask to uh, say with the, when you are going through the expression of interest. It does ask how does the second uh, the second uh, uh, secondary applicant uh, match the IELTS uh, uh, requirement. So it will definitely there is that. I remember when when I filled my last EOI that it is definitely there. So I think you'll have to have that. Uh, proof of how you will uh, the secondary applicant will match it but if you're trying to do your EOI by itself it looks easy I must warn you it can be quite tricky now uh, which is why there are people like me and my colleague Gizala and a lot of us uh, who are from the uh, licensed immigration fraternity so please take professional help this is a very important moment in your life and you should not take the wrong steps it will cost you money because like all professional services it will if you go for surgery to a good doctor, it will cost you money, but you can't self-cure yourself. Likewise, you know, these uh, EOIs and IPAs and all those things, they look simple, but there are a lot of complex things. And I can notice uh, quite visibly that the Immigration Department of New Zealand is tightening more and more and more on the resident visa side of things. So your first step has to be the right step.